Hey everybody, it's Matt here, and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Level. And if you're like me, then recently you got an Xbox 360. Heck, you might have gotten two. If you're anything like me, you helped your family move, and they said, oh yeah, there's two 360s here, but we don't really know if they work. We're, we're assuming that they don't work. So you said, you know what, I'll take it off your hands. You bring it home, and it turns on. It outputs video. You can even plug a controller in. But when you try to open up that disc tray, it just doesn't work. Well, thankfully, if you're in that position, or if you just bought one on eBay or something, either way, if you're in that position, then this is the video for you. But I do want to note before we begin that this is a short-term solution. You could, in theory, keep on doing this, especially if you don't use a 360 that often, but I would highly suggest looking for other methods if you want a long-term solution. This is just going to be used if you want to get the disc out of the tray, or if you want to see if there is a disc in the tray, or if you want to, again, just use it to test out whether or not the console can actually read discs. So normally you would have to open up the console, even buy some stuff that allows you to have a better grip on the tray. It might be the reason why it can't open. But in this case, you don't need to open up your console at all. You potentially don't even need to buy anything. But I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Let's actually talk about what you need. The first thing you're going to need, of course, is your Xbox 360. But I mention this because you will also need a power brick as well. Now you could get an HDMI cable and a controller, but I would argue that those are more optional. Now the next thing you're going to need, which is not optional, is a metal nail file. And now that you know what you need, let me show you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is stand your 360 up. This is very important. Make sure that your 360 is standing. Now plug everything in, turn it on, and if you want to, in the off chance that you want to see if there's a disc in the console, go past this main menu and see if there is. Now you're going to want to take your metal object, and don't use the side that has pointiness. No pointiness, nothing poking and prodding inside the console, no thank you. Use the flat side, and what you're going to want to do is actually take it and gently put it underneath the disc tray, and gently lift it up. Now, it should be already lifted up in a way because of the fact that if you're using one that is the size of mine, it's actually pushing up the disc tray automatically, and then push the eject button. And what you should notice is that the reason why your disc tray was having issues is because it just couldn't pop out. Because you maybe left a disc in there, or just there were general wear and tear over time, and it actually pulls the disc tray down. This could also happen if you lay your Xbox 360 flat, usually it'll be pushed down by gravity down in that direction, but these were standing, so that's why I'm doing it this way. So as you can see, it works just fine. Now you do have to be careful though, really make sure that you're not leaning it in any way because the disc could just straight up fall out if there is one in there, but now as you can see, you got it open and it works just fine. But. I say works just fine, as in it opened just fine. Uh, what would also happen is, depending on, it doesn't happen to me all the time, sometimes it just forces itself shut after opening, so that is something also to be aware of. And this is, again, not a long-term solution, but hey, you got the disc out, and that's what's important. And now back to me in front of the shelf. So thankfully it wasn't that difficult, but I do want to say the reason why I say this is a short-term and not a long-term solution is because from what I've noticed, at least from the tool that I have, there's a little bit of a grading going on between the tray and the actual console itself, and over time there is a good chance that some of the discs will just fall out, depending on what way you have to lift the tray up to actually push the eject button. So I would highly suggest doing this just for the short term, or again, if you don't use your 360 that often. But if you're someone who's using it constantly, and it's your main console in 2022, by the way, respect. But if it is, then I definitely suggest going for other methods. But either way, thank you all so much for watching. Love you all, take care, and tune in next time. So, see ya!